Hi guys, it's time for another quick tutorial and I wanted to show you guys a little practical tip when it comes to using SketchUp with uh, CNC machines or automatic cutters if you want. You Sometimes you need to take out the files and make everything nice and flat for the machines to read the measurements of your model. And if you take out something like this, there is a lot of details and stuff, but I want to make this gingerbread house in MDF, so I need to cut it out in different sizes. What I need is just like the four walls, the, the, the roof and the chimney. So what you need is an extension. So if you go to extension warehouse here and you search for the extension, which is called flatten. And if you search flatten, you'll get four extensions and the one you want is unwrap and flatten. Just add that. Then for this model here, I want to take out the individual walls. And the easiest way to do that is just, if I go into this model, I can just mark my walls like this. I want to go down till I just have like individual shapes like this. And I'm going to mark all my walls, like all the way inside the group. I'm going to copy them. I'm going to go outside and I'm going to paste a copy of them outside here. So now here you can see that I have only the flat structures of all the walls. And I don't want the extra lines here. So I'm going to go over with my uh, eraser and just take away the lines like that. And then we simply need to make this into a flat structure. But we're not done yet because we need some of, of the other things here too. We need uh, these... Um, roof here. So I'm going to take them out also as a flat structure. Just take a copy of them, paste them back in here. And that's just roof. Now realize I'm just taking out the actual planes and not the entire model. Remember that you can always use hide rest of model to just focus on the group you're inside of. If you want to know where that is, you're going to go to content edit and hide rest of model. The smart thing is to make a shortcut for that. I'm going to cut this in here. So this, these are all the forms that I need to cut out in MDF to make my gingerbread house. But it, if you take this into a CNC, it won't really read it because you need it to be flat. So we need to flatten them. So the way to do that is that you mark, mark everything like this, and then you right click and you create unwrap and flatten faces, unwrap flatten, and it will warn you that non complaint It will try its best to make uh, an, a calculation of doing it flat. But since I kept this as like a square cylinder, it will work perfectly. It will just make the entire house flat like that. And the same goes for this chimney. Do the same thing, unwrap and flatten. And that makes that flat. And the same goes for the roof. And unwrap and flatten. And you can tell, even if you had like more intricate shapes than this, it would still ma manage to put all the forms down and make them flat. Now, the next thing you need to do is just position them so that they're easy to read for um, the uh, CNC machines software. And to do that, we're just gonna organize them pretty well, put them beside each other in the same plane like that. And sometimes this will actually be enough for a lot of people, but it depends on who's operating the CNC. So if they prefer, you can also uh, separate these shapes. The way to do that is that you mark these new flat shapes and then we're gonna explode them. Uh, explode. And then we're gonna double click on each of these forms and we're gonna group them. So we double click and then make group. Of course, I have a shortcut for that. So I'm just gonna do that real quickly. There we go. And now all of these forms are actually separate shapes. So I can go ahead and distribute them out a bit so that they're actually easier to uh, individually identify. And there we go. So now that's done, everything's good and flat. Then we need to put the camera to place where they can actually see these flat structures. So we're gonna view it from top. And then we're going to go camera and parallel projections to make sure that we don't include any three-dimensional information here. Now that everything is flat, we can go to file and we can export this 2D graphics, 2D graphics. It's important to make a flat image for the CNC. And we're going to export it as a TVG. You can also use a DVA, DXF if you want. 
just keep the standard settings in here. And I'm just going to export that as a DVG. And that will result in this really nice little flat drawing that is to scale from your SketchUp uh, drawings. And you can input this directly into the CNC plotter and it will cut out these shapes for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to, and I'll talk to you next time.